Hey guys, it's me, Kumasai, and welcome to another week of FNAF Weekly News, a series I do every Saturday that covers this week's FNAF news. So, this week, it's mainly more to news, so if that's not your thing, I suggest you can just stick around or just log. There's a lot, let's just get over all the more to news, because there's so much more to news this week. So, Portal Fly has released a Buddy Fazbell L Pod case, spotted at 5 below. So, there's a new L Pod case you can find at 5 below. It has Fuddy's face on it. I didn't see it when I went to 5 and below yesterday, so that's disappointing. That was actually my first time going to 5 Below. I got a FNAF poster, actually. It looks pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, there wasn't a lot of FNAF stuff I was expecting. I thought there was going to be more FNAF 5 Nights at Freddy stuff, but there surprisingly wasn't. There's a lot of posters, though, but the ones I wanted, they were gone, so it was very annoying to deal with. But, like this LPOD case, you can go pick it up. I'm not sure how you're going to fit it in your pocket, though, because there is yours. So, that might be a problem. And YouTube says release an upcoming Freddy Fazbear on Bonnie Monitor. Buddies. So this is a thing they do apparently. I don't they like sit on the edge of your monitor, I believe, and it's just it's just funny and there's Bonnie. They're pretty cute looking. If anyone would like some new Five Nights of Freddy's clothes, do new Five Nights of Freddy's into the pit shorts from Quadro Inc. So we got one of uh Pit Bonnie. Uh this is into the pit and it looks like Pit Bonnie's jumping into the pit. And we got one with an arcade machine with that says into the pit and L. So the first one's really more into the pit vibes than the second one, but they look very high. They, they look like they're very good uh, T-shirts. I'm not sure how much they cost, of course, but they look pretty good. So if you want to check check them out, okay? We also got some more stuff from Quiddle Inc. So the new Five Nights at Freddy's posters from Quiddle Inc. Part of the art series collection. So we got one of Spring Trap, Freddy Fazbear, I'm a Freddy, and Nightmare Bonnie. So they look pretty good, actually. Like They're very high quality. And I suggest you guys to pick it up because if you like posters and stuff, if you're getting tired of the old uh, Five Below ones and stuff like that, I suggest these posters because they they look top notch, man. They're actually kind of scary. They have that artistic view. I really like. I really, I like it a lot. It's very nice, actually. And finally, we got some Funko stuff. So Funko has released a 10-inch Pop Pop Plus of Golden Footy exclusive at Hot Topic. So this might be the best plusy we have ever gotten from Funko. It is beautiful. They really did they did golden Freddy so well like it's it's i've seen many people talking about this plusy and it it's absolutely amazing guys so i suggest you guys to pick it up it's only a to hot topic sally i don't have a hot topic near me anymore which is very disappointing because uh you know how malls and stuff are closing and hot topic is really a mall stop shop but if you have a hot topic or maybe you can order it online or something you can get this new funko pop plus of golden Freddy. That is adorable. We also got some hex news. So we got a horse look at the prototype Funtime Buddy Hex Plus. This is a location way featuring Circus Baby, Bloa, Funtime Buddy, and Funtime Foxy will be released later this year. So we got some images of Funtime Buddy, and it looks like his head can be removed, and he has a little Bon Bon Plusy, which is very cute, and a microphone. So this is one of the higher quality hex pluses with a lot of removable parts, and I know that's one thing that makes hex so unique and cool. I'm more uh, happy about the bonbon because bon, it's so cute. I'm not going to lie. It's so cute, guys. This is going to be coming later. It's, uh, it's only a prototype, so some things can change. But so far, it looks pretty well. I don't know why. what needs change, to be honest, because everything looks good. But I guess Darko has some plans. We also got some more prototype news. So we got a first look at the prototype Glamrock 40 Hex Plus. So changes for the final product include a shrunken head shape and a spike your lightning bolt. So I'm going to shrink Glamrock Freddy's head a little bit and then it changes lightning ball to be a little bit more sharp because I can tell in the picture it's a little bit not that sharp but I feel like his head is perfectly fine that's just me though but he has a removable microphone it seems like and that seems like it's that's it I know the heads and arms come off too but I like the accessories that come with them because you can you know mix and match with other hex pluses and it makes them like a collectible thing but that's Glamrock Freddy he looks pretty cute uh, it looks pretty high quality there's gonna be some changes though so we also got some more YouTube's news. So YouTube's will release Freddy Fazbear slippers alongside a previous revealed Roxanne Wolf slipper. So we're getting some classic Freddy slippers and we got some Roxy slippers. Not gonna lie, the Roxy slippers look kind of weird because it just looks like the plus version and it's like put a hole in the chest and like put your feet in this. Like it's kind of weird looking, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, you can't really do much. It's, it's just a weird concept in general for like FNAF slippers, but you know, Fazbear Incorporated gotta make that dough somehow, but it look okay. The kind of strange, but I really like the Roxanne Hex uh, U2s Plus, so 
I am excited about that. And we also got some more YouTube news. So we got a lot of YouTube news this week. So YouTube has revealed an upcoming plus of Sparky the Dog from Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's. So if you guys remember when the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, there was a Sparky the Dog reference in the movie, which is an old ho hoax character that was talked about in FNAF 1, but it was never real. So Scott added it into the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. So YouTube is apparently making a plus of Sparky, and we only get to see his back, sadly. So we don't know the, what the front looks like, but maybe it's being worked on or something. I don't know, but we're just going to see his backside for now, and he it seems like he has his color just like he does in the movie. So I can't really talk about much about this because we don't actually get to see the face, but it is based off Sparky the dog from the FNAF movie. And we weren't done with Hex news, so we got some new looks. So we got Circus Baby, walks in with uh, Monty, I'm not going to say Mon Monty Gator, Glamrock Freddy, Glamrock Chica, Bon Bon a Hand Puppet, and Mr. Cupcake. So we've got a bunch of animatronic uh, Hex pluses we're going to see here. My least favorite heel is Mr. Cupcake. He looks kind of dopey. I don't really like the eyes that much. He's not not that cute in my opinion. But the other pluses look fantastic. So keep an eye out for those upcoming Hex pluses, guys. And I'll definitely cover the news. I'll cover when they come out. And we got some more news. We got some actually closed. So we got our Five Nights at Freddy's XRSVLTS. The Wizard of Elts is available now. The launch includes shorts, hoodies, reversible bomber jackets, and hats. So it, this image doesn't sell everything, but they are all pretty high quality. But the only problem is they are pretty expensive. But these actually, I have, I think they deserve to be a little bit expensive because there's a lot of crazy designs going on. And it's not like, oh, look, I just put a logo on a t-shirt. Pay me $80 like Cloak does. These actually look very high quality. So if you guys want to check this out, I put the, I'll put a description. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check out this, the web page. Maybe pick up some items if you have the money. But they look pretty good. And finally, the final news of this week. Final Fantasy XIV Into the Pit is now available on Xbox Series S, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Nintendo Switch. So the people that have been waiting to play this game, you can now officially play Five Nights at Freddy's Into the Pit on your game consoles. So it was an alpha PC for a while, and they finally made it on other consoles so i hope you guys like the game i hope you guys tell me what you guys think about it if you actually played in the comments below because i would like to hear your guys opinions on it i already did a let's play on the game you can watch it uh i'll put a link in the description it, 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 there already is a link in the description but it's a very fun game and it's one of the best five nights of Freddy's games so that's all the FNAF news this week. I covered, I do this every week. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe so you get more FNAF news every Saturday. But I will see you guys later.